T-Rex weighed between seven and a half tons to fifteen and a half tons. Well, that's heavy. And T-Rex was forty feet long, and some could maybe grow up to forty-five feet. T-Rex are slow, although there has been debate. Most scientists agree that T-Rex ran between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Welcome to Jurassic Learning. Here I show you the T-Rex, a very famous dinosaur, but do you really know as much as you think you do? That is a question I will answer. If you are not a dinosaur expert, I am sure you don't. Oh, did you know this was the ancestor of the T-Rex? Yes, this. That was the ancestor of the T-Rex. This small creature known as Guan Long had lived in ancient China during the Jurassic period. Where the forests were lush and green. And it was one that was nearly, nearly filled in the place of a raptor of the Jurassic. The Jurassic period most think are when all dinosaurs lived. But that is not true. There was a ma there were there were many periods, including the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. The three periods of the age of the dinosaurs. T. Rex lived in the Cretaceous period, the last period of the dinosaurs, when the asteroid hit Earth. Now, Guan Long lived during the Jurassic period, much earlier than T. Rex. During the early Jurassic to late Jurassic period, Guan Long thrived. Another creature in ancient China thought to have come just after Guan Long was Dilong. Dilong was a small and speedy creature, just like Guan Long, but it had more of features towards T Rex with a long, with with, with no crest and a long and uh, long snout. This, this was an important step towards becoming T-Rex, but, but Guan Long and Dilong were not nearly as big as the T-Rex. Then, during the early Cretaceous, then during the early Cretaceous period came Raptor Rex. Raptor Rex knocked these little guys out. Raptor Rex was basically a very small T Rex about the size of a raptor. But its bike but its mouth like a T Rex, its fingers were like T Rex and its and its tail was long and stiff like a T Rex. And that was Raptor Rex. Then into the into the late Cretaceous we go. We have Daspletosaurus. Daspletosaurus, much bigger than all of the previous Tyrannosaurids, growing big, heavy, and it had a bone crushing bite just like T Rex. The bone crushing bite was, in fact, very similar to T Rex's, but T Rex was bigger than Daspletosaurus. And then, during the late Cretaceous again, we have Albertosaurus. Not quite as late as T-Rex, but it was during the late Cretaceous period, and it was right before T-Rex evolved. It was this creature, big and fierce, so than all the previous ones. But this is not even close to how big the king of lizards was. Bertosaurus grew to about 30 feet long, 30 to 35, if one of the biggest ones got. 
But Brontosaurus was not even close to as heavy as T Rex. Previously thought, T Rex was previously thought to be smaller than Giganotosaurus and Spinosaurus. But new research shows with a new specimen named Scotty the T Rex. This T Rex is much bigger than Spinosaurus and Gignotosaurus, though previously it was thought, as I said, bigger. It was thought to be smaller than Gignotosaurus and Spinosaurus, but now studies show he's heavier than them. And T Rex was the last Tyrannosaurid of all time. Guan Long, Jurassic Period. Moving on, Geelong. Jurassic period. Moving on. Moving on. This is the Raptor Rex. Early Cretaceous period. Nesplitosaurus. Late Cretaceous period. Albertosaurus. Late Cretaceous period. Tyrannosaurus. Late Cretaceous period. <laughs>